going to ask you a little bit more about what happens after your surgery now. So my first question to you would be, how did you feel after surgery, immediately when you woke up and, and whilst you were in the hospital? Well, I, could, I could breathe quite quickly. I, sort of, I can't properly remember waking up. I sort of remember that was, of course, a very sort of slow procedure. Um, it sort of felt like you had a really bad cold, like you sort of really bunged up and whatnot. And so I didn't like the fact that the blood was stripping or whatnot, but <laughs> I can imagine. But just stabbing very gently was, was all right. Yeah, and that the nurses looked after you and reassured you, presumably, regarding that. Yeah, yeah, no, that was quite nice. <laughs> but it was, it was weird how the breathing sort of started virtually straight away. And I sort of looked that up afterwards, and a couple of people had that, but most people were like, oh, I could breathe until about a week afterwards. <laughs> okay, oh, that's good. And what about pain? There wasn't actually that much. I still I took the painkillers just because I didn't really want it to come up, but I didn't really feel that much. The slightest bit on the first night, but otherwise there was no need for it really. And did the blockage make you feel uncomfortable? How long did that last, do you think? That you lasted for quite about well, I think probably the whole the whole week at least. Okay. But it was more like a sort of throbbing sensation rather than anything else. That's why it sort of felt blocked up. Thank you. Well, what did you do during that first week when you got your cast on at home? Did you feel very housebound? Not as much as other people because I didn't have any bruising in the slightest. I sort of, I saw lots of people and I almost didn't feel bad about it. So my brother's friends would come around and I'd still be hanging out with them. But the first three days, I spent them all in bed playing PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> An ideal opportunity. Yes. Good <laughs> excuse. So that sounds absolutely perfect. Um, and how did you feel after your cast came off, when we brought you back to clinic here and removed your cast? What was your first initial expectations and what did you think when we showed you the mirror after cleaning the nose? Well, I, I expected quite a lot because even with the cast on I thought, oh, I, I felt like I'd already see the distance, the, the, the difference. And I was yeah. like, oh, it's quite straight, it's looking nice from that side. So I was really excited. Good. My first reaction was, wow, I looked like a lion because <laughs> of the swelling. But then as soon as I was in the car, I was literally just staring in the mirror, I was like, oh my god, look at that curve, look at that curve. And do you think I did enough to warn you about the swelling? Did you feel, did you feel well prepared for that? You've mentioned it already, that's where the internet forums are so helpful. I even expected it to be worse. I think, I don't know why it was just more of a shock, it was only when I got home, I was like, actually, it wasn't as, as bad as I was expecting. Okay. And it was mainly just sort of that area, like sort of everywhere else, you sort of could see the curve already. Mm -hmm. I understand that and I think most other patients would absolutely agree it'd be perfect mm. if we could do it without, but, um, yes. <laughs> but, but that, that's great. Um, so what do you think was the best thing about having rhinoplasty for you? What, about the nose or the sort of after effects? All of it. What would be the thing, if you could say you talked about confidence improving, what would be the one thing that you would walk out the next day pleased with your nose and think, gosh, that was really worth doing and my confidence has improved? I just think it's got to be this view. I can see this person and not even think about my nose. You can meet whoever and just be like, it's a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. And when do you think did the benefits really start to kick in and being aware that you liked it and everything you've just mentioned? How quickly after your surgery? Honestly, for me, it was straight away because the main thing that bothered me, there were sort of frontal views and other things and breathing, but the main thing was that three-quarter view and straight away that was perfect for me. And the other benefit was that no one ever noticed, so I, was, I had the confidence and no one else could tell. They couldn't even tell it was swollen. <laughs> it is amazing how often that is the case. Yes. What would you say to someone if they're thinking about rhinoplasty and they ask you for your advice? I'd say sort of know what to expect and be realistic about it. Don't sort of have this, this perfect nose in your head. You sort of, you pick the celebrity, I want that nose. Like maybe on your head, oh I want it a bit straighter, a bit smaller here, don't have it this thing so don't don't get all the morphing programs and things that you can have on your phone and I don't know I would suggest sort of asking around people looking at other photos and take lots of photos of yourself it's so comforting to do it when you get back after cast off and then six months down the line to actually be able to take another photo and be like oh, wow that's how much it's changed. So, Kerry thank you very much thank you've been extremely helpful. <laughs> thank you.